Hello, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and today we're going to talk about creating an image with Paragon Backup and Recovery Free. The point of creating the image on your system is to make a restore point, so to speak, that you can go back to at any point in time before certain things have been installed. Uh, say something gets corrupted, say you have any problems like that, you kind of have a safety point to fall back to. So the first thing we need to do is launch our web browser to download the installer. And let's just search Paragon Free. And here we are back up in recovery, free edition. So let's launch it. So here we have uh, Paragon Backup and Recovery free edition. So let's do the free download. Windows 64 or 32 bit, depending on what you're using. And download now. So go ahead and download the file and save it to your computer. After the download is finished, it'll probably be available in your downloads folder. So let's go into there and let's run the installer. After it's done, let's close it out and go ahead and launch it. And here we have two main options we need to deal with. The first one is backup to virtual disk, which means creating the image, or restore from virtual disk, which we'll do in another video, which has to do with actually restoring back to the image you created. So for here, let's go ahead and start with backup to virtual disk. So let's go ahead and click Next. Here we have a few different options, uh, depending on your system. Uh, for me, I have multiple hard drives in my system, and on my operating system disk, there's multiple partitions with different operating systems. So uh, first you need to make the choice as if you need to back up an individual partition, say in my case, or if you only have a single partition, uh, you would want to actually choose the entire disk to back up. So the easiest way to just choose the entire disk to back up is just to click here outside of the box. And this will select everything within the box. But if you only have one partition, that's all that will be backed up. If you have multiple partitions, you would just go in here and choose the individual partition. So let's go out here and uh, in your case, you would probably just want to click outside the box to select everything and hit next. Here we're going to decide where the backup will be stored once it's created and it will default to your documents folder. Uh, I don't like to put it there. I'd much rather put it in either a separate hard drive that's on the computer, an external hard drive, anywhere, something where it's uh, safe because storing it right back into your documents folder, you know, anything could happen to it. So I like to keep it in a more secure location. So in my case, uh, I'm going to go here and navigate to a separate hard drive. I'll put it here on my spare drive and click OK. And so here it's saying the J folder, which is that hard drive. And then next here we have the option to name the backup. So let's create a name for it. I'll just use backup two for this example, and then a backup description. So it's like a comments or notes, um, anything to help you reference what this image is. So here's just a generic comment description. And then let's go ahead and hit next. And here it's starting the backup progress. And the time here is going to be dependent on how large the image is that it needs to create. So it could take 10 minutes, it could take five, it could take more depending on the size. When it's done, it'll throw up a window telling you it's complete. 
So now that it's complete, let's verify our backup is stored where it should be. So for me, it was in my J spare drive under backup two. So there's the backup. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. And the next video will be restoring an image. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.